Hi, I wanted to welcome you back to the studio. I'm going to be doing an autumnal landscape today and I'm going to be using sponge and gouache. So let's start painting. I've already put down some color and let it dry. Forgot to turn on the camera. I'm coming back with water here and I'm using my big brush again, putting down the water and then I'm going to add some color to it. Just doing the bridge here. Coming back with some of the orange. I'm using a cadmium orange. I have Windsor green and alizarin crimson and uh, burnt sienna on the palette also. And just adding a little deeper color now to my bridge. Okay, there's that. I'm going to blot a little bit of that color off. It's too much there. don't quite like it. Now I'm coming back with the uh, more of the alizarin crimson that's been darkened with the um, Windsor green. Again, just adding more color to this concrete bridge. These are the front, uh, the foreground, the front rocks that I'm doing now. And adjusting the arch a little bit. Now I'm going to come in with the shadow color, which is Again, the Windsor Green with the Alizarin Crimson. More green here that's giving me kind of this violet. Let the painting dry and then I'm coming in again to wet it. I'm going to put a little green down there in my water. And more of the violet color. There were so many colors on shadows on that bridge. These will be my tree trunks. They have more green in the mixture. So they're looking they're looking more green than that shadow underneath the bridge. I'm using a one and a half inch Mottler type brush. And I am putting the tree trunk in. I am leaving some space for the leaves. There's another tree that I'm starting over here on the right. It's looking very green. More trees. These are a little bits into the background. They're on top of the bridge. Put more alizarin crimson into that one on the left so it's looking darker and more violet. And I'm also adding this color in the, to the foreground because there are shadows underneath these trees. All the leaves have not left them falling yet. I 
And also there's a lot of debris at the, on the ground at this time of the year. This is the water passage underneath, on the other side of the bridge, and I'm putting in some kind of a green there. This will be the shadow. I'm picking up the sponge, and I've wet the sponge, and now I am going to be sponging in uh, some darker color for my uh, leaves here. Again, this is the alizarin crimson with the Windsor green, but there's more alizarin crimson, so it's looking like, and also this is uh, burnt sienna in that color too. some in the foreground doing the trees it's less paint on the sponge more water so the color is looking lighter here picking up more paint and yeah it's just kind of fun to sponge it in right more paint. So we're going to pick that up. And I'm coming now into the foreground with the sponging. Sorry, you can't really see that much of the bottom part of the painting here, but you get the idea. A little bit more on the top, a little greener color. It's not all the leaves turn at once. They have different colors to them. And I'm bringing now in some green that's had the yellow added to it and it's made from like a chartreuse type color. There I'm putting it down in the water and I think that just adds a nice feeling to it, kind of a mossy feeling on the bridge. I'm strengthening with more green the trunk there. It, the whole area is wet, so it's going to run quite a bit. And right now it looks pretty blobby, but we'll come back and you'll see how I handle that in just a moment. more trees in the background here using the edge of the brush. Okay, let's let this dry and then we're going to come back and add some more branches and do something with my rocks here in the front. Hi, I'm back and it's time to do the last little bits to the painting. I've put some gouache out. I have an orange, this is Turner gouache, uh, almost like a new gamboge and a lemon yellow, and this is Windsor ti um, titanium white, gouache white. And I've wet my sponge, and I'm going to come in and put down some of the bright leaves that are on top here. And some things I want to obliterate, some of the green I don't like. We'll use some of the full strength color.
Okay, don't want to do too much there. Do want to do something about this. That's probably going to do it for me with this part of the painting. I have also put out more of the green of the Windsor green and alizarin crimson. And I'm going to add just a little more of the super dark, what I'm calling the super dark, my dark leaves here. Okay, that's going to do it, I think. really a lot of stuff growing on top of the bridge. Now I'm going to come down here into my foreground. I'm going to add a little bit of my leaves with the sponge. I give a lovely kind of soft texture there. I don't know if any of you recognize this. This is in St. Louis County, this park. Okay, put that in. The very last thing I'm going to do is take my liner and I'm going to put some twigs into the foreground. I'm using the Windsor Green, the Alizarin Crimson, which makes this dark, and I'm mixing it with my Windsor Newton Titanium. And just adding some of the twigs that we see that fall. I'm going to use some of the darker color too. Got more green in it than the red, so it's looking very green on the. That's more with the red, and it's a little darker. I'm just adding some of that. brush that we have. It will work better if you get back on the brush. Don't hold it too close. You want to be back near the end of the brush. Makes it easier to make more calligraphic strokes. 